breach this science of Krishna consciousness. I generally travel throughout the world to preach this science of Krishna consciousness. My revered spiritual master, Sri Srimad Yashivakti Vedanta Swami, Prabhupada Maharaj, uh, he had preached this science of Krishna consciousness. And he had founded a society named International Society for Krishna Consciousness. And we are the members of that society, Society for Krishna Consciousness. And he had said that this science, this message of Krishna Consciousness should be uh, preached throughout the world in the human society. And because this will bring peace and prosperity in human society. This is uh, such a message. And this human life or human birth uh, is rarely achieved by Dhrulabhu Manasun Janmu. Uh, why it is rarely achieved? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of this rarely achieved birth? One should understand the purpose of this uh, human birth is to understand Krishna, is to develop complete Krishna consciousness, is to know Krishna, is to see Krishna, is to get Krishna in this life. That is the purpose of this really achieved human birth. Uh, Bhagavata, Srimad Bhagavata, uh, with the, that is the essence of all Vedas, all Upanishads has said like that, Lagdha sudhalvidam bhushram vanti manusya marthada manitya mabhiya dhira. After undergoing lots, lots, lots of other species, one gets this really achieved path, human path. Purpose is to understand Krishna, to see Krishna, and to get Krishna in this life. How Krishna is to be understood? Bhaktya manga vijanati. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, in Bhagavato, Bhakti Amyaka Grajya, only by Bhakti one can understand Krishna, one can see Krishna and one can get Krishna. Without Bhakti, no other means is there to see Krishna, to understand Krishna. This, this is the science of Bhakti Yoga, devotional service, that is the Krishna Chetana, that is the Krishna consciousness. Uh, to, uh, and this human life is meant for that. The body is a material, is a material body, but soul is not material. Soul is spiritual, a spirit soul. Because the spirit soul is there in this material body, the body is a leaf, the body is conscious, the body is moving. And when the soul gets out from this body, then what is this body? This is a clump of dead matter soul. Dead matters. When soul gets out, then it's dead body. Body may be lying there. Hands are there, legs are there, eyes are there, everything is there. His kids and kin uh, may be dashing their head and crying, crying, oh, he died, he died. Uh, but why? He is not responding. If he is body, uh, why is he not responding? No, he is not body. Uh, he is spirit soul. That soul is not in the body now, he has already gotten out. Therefore, ah, as long as soul is there in the body, then the body has validity. If not soul is there, it's a clump of dead matter. Similarly, the human bath is meant for developing complete Krishna consciousness. Unless he develops complete Krishna consciousness, the human life is useless. Useless. It's, it's like animal life. And animals are, animals know this body, the demands of the body, eating, sleeping, defending, and mating. And the human life knows the same thing, and this body, and the demands of the body is that eating, sleeping, defending, mating, how to make nice arrangement for my eating, how to make nice arrangement for my sleeping, how to make nice arrangement for my protection, how to make nice arrangement for sexual life, sex enjoyment. If he does like that, then he is no better than an animal. Even a worm in the stool, he does so. So if a human being does so, the criminal kyalantaram, 
That, what a difference between a human being and a worm in the stove. But the human life is not made for that. It is made for developing complete Krishna consciousness. What is that complete Krishna consciousness? That Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Jaman Pasati Sarvatra, Sarvan Jaman Pasati, Tasyam no Panasyami, Satsami no Panasyati. One sees me everywhere and sees everything in me. He is not out of my sight. I am not out of his sight. That means one sees Krishna everywhere and sees everything in Krishna means to see relationship with Krishna, Krishna Samanda. That means whatever you see and find here, everything belongs to Krishna. Everything Krishna's property. And all jivas are Krishna's, related to Krishna, they are eternal servants. They are eternal servants of Krishna. This is Krishna Samanda. And especially human life. Human birth is mean but develop complete Krishna consciousness. And it is to be done only by bhakti. That Krishna has said in Gita and Bhagavata, bhaktya vanga vijanati, bhaktya astvananya lobhya, bhaktya ego agracha. With another devotion, only one through. Only by honor devotion one can understand me, know me. Ah, without no other means, they have to understand it. So in other words, we may say, uh, this human life is made for developing devotion to Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. One should understand everything is Krishna's property. I have no property. One who has property is proprietor. Krishna is the only proprietor. Everything is property, his property. But here, human means so, so my property. This country is mine. Ah, we are this person has done this and this and this. The Jamaraj who is again uh, what say? Uh, that will be done there in the abode of Jamaraj. You understand? But how one, this question is, uh, what so this uh, uh, Jamila, uh, you are a great sinful person. He has committed, he had committed so much sin that Chitra Gupta had prepared the biggest work for him, the biggest work. So he was going to die at the age of 88. 88, do you understand? He's lying in the deathbed. And names should be given according to the name of Lord Bhagavan, according to the name of the dear devotees of the Lord, Vaishnavas. So, Krishna is the only object of love. One, one should develop attachment to Krishna. But we are materialistic person. Eh? We have no attachment towards Krishna, but we have a very strong attachment to this material world, this material body, and bodily relation, certainly four Vishnu Dutas appear. Four Vishnu Dutas appear. And Vishnu Dutas look like just Bhagavan Vishnu, just like Bhagavan Vishnu, four hundred followers. They have four arms, they have four weapons in their four arms, is Goda and Sekhlov. Disc is there, chakra is there, and bow is there, and arrows are there. We understand all this. <coughs> Sword is there. All these weapons are carrying, holding that weapons, immediately they appear. And they drop out, jump with us. Do you understand? Get out from here. You cannot touch him because he has no sinful reaction. She is associated with many Vedic Pandit Sadhus. That is the result of his sadhu sangha, that he had kept that name Narayan. You understand? Otherwise, you would have kept some other name. Tom or baby, isn't it? Uh, Tom, baby, uh, Alexander, uh, Keith, so many different names. <laughs> Max Muller, <laughs> different names, man. <laughs> Do you understand? 
but let's don't go to next loss. And since that he is never asked anything, never asked about liberation. Now the hump out of your following the path of liberation. Have you, have you ever hampered to following the path of devotional service? Huh? Has your bhajan been hampered? That will look worse. He never asked this thing. Only asked this thing. Why this so? This is a great question. Nothing else. And this is to be understood here. What question to be asked to do? Such a person. Huh? Isn't it? Understand my question. Huh? Very important topic. This verse says, Prabhupada never mentions anything about it. Possibly you cannot understand it. What you understand, he said. Yes. Haridas Thakur was such very elevated Paramahamsa, you see, Namacharya, was not eating, not sleeping at all. Day and night, twenty-four hours engaged in bhajan. Chant three lakhs of names, huh? holy name daily. There is time for eating and no time for sleeping. Huh? He had gotten siddha deha. Huh? No material body. No demands of material body, eating, sleeping, defending, and maintaining. One has gotten siddha deha. Huh? No need of eating, no need of sleeping. So he. Well, not eat, well, not eat. Yes, I can see the data. Once she was uh, looking very more of sleeping, lying and chanting, Mahaprabhu came. Mahaprabhu asked, Why you look more of? Yes, Mahaprabhu asked, Why you look more of? To Tampan, uh, Dhruva's father. You understand? Mahaprabhu, why you look worse? Huh? Was Paramahamsa, was that Siddha Deva? No material demands, no huh? demands of material body. Why is it worse? Huh? You understand? What he said? Huh? Oh, I cannot complete my runs. Because you are chanting three lakhs of day, three lakhs of names daily. Now he said, I cannot come. That is my reason of Muras, and I feel distressed. Huh? Isn't it? Follow me. Krishna went to Mathura, leaving Braja Bhumi. Huh? So devotees in Brajabhumi or Brajabhasis, residents of Brajabhumi, uh, felt acute pang of separation from Krishna. Uh, Krishna is their life and soul, and life is, has gone out. Huh? Acute pang of separation from Krishna. So they were all crying. Day and night all crying. Ajit. Huh? No life, jivan murto, though living, dead. Yes. They have given up, especially the gopis, especially the rabani. They have all given up eating, sleeping. They have become very skinny, very skinny. Yes. So skinny, weak. The body has become so thin. Those are breasts, those are, huh? Rings put on his little finger. That has become a bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> so thin. Understand my language. Huh? What has happened to you? Huh? So what will last then? Will last in these questions? <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Uh, why is that? 
Have you been hampered following part of religious rights, economic development, or sense of education? Huh? This question cannot ask that. You should ask question to a person. What is his adhikara? This question of adhikara comes here. And this is a very important question on this philosophical topics, this bhakti. Do you understand? Hmm. There are three adhikaras, karma adhikar, jnana adhikar, and bhakti adhikar. One has karma, karma adhikar? You will ask this question. The king has karma adhikar only. Hey, Mama Adhman didn't ask about liberation. But the jnana adhikar, he has liberation. The king, Uttana Pada, was devoid of jnana adhikar. Only karma adhikar. Therefore, three questions are asked. One of the bhakti adhikar, this Paramahansa, her dash thaku. Do you understand? What do you ask? All these questions. Huh? He has given bhakti and mukti. Isn't it? Nandana, nandana, nasundari, kapitam, badagadi, sakamai. Mama Janmani, Janmani Sore, Bhauta, Bhakti, Rohi, Tugi, Tui. One must take a look at this thing. Huh? No desire for material enjoyment, no desire for liberation, only desire of Hitugi Bhakti. So, Lord of Bhagavan, O Supreme Lord, give me all of Hitugi Bhakti, another devotion only. What question you ask? This question is. Huh? Isn't it? So Uddha Hakim, you see, Pusmanas, as the Brajabhasis, the inhabitants of Brajabhumi, few, so acute little pangs of separation, so acute pangs of separation, Pusma. Similarly, Pusma feels acute pangs of separation, and then this is reciprocal, this is not one-sided. Though Krishna was there doing some activities, still in, he said, my mind, my heart lies there in Brajabhumi. My body is lying here only. He said, express that thing before. You understand? Krishna eh? couldn't go now there, they can come here. What to do? The sending messages, the messengers, <coughs> So, Krishna picked up Uddhava. Who can carry the message of love? His loving affairs. Krishna sent the message of love. And such a devotee is required. Dear devotee. And Uddhava is a very dear devotee. Not a thame priyatama, not a juni, not a sankara, not a sankara, not a lakvira, not a bhatma, not a bhatma. Uddhava is so dear, he said. Although you are so dear to me, Atma is only Brahma is not so dear. Shankar is not so dear. My brother Shankar son is not so dear. My wife Lakshmi is not so dear to me. My Baba, my Atma, I myself is not so dear to me as you are dear. A so dear devotee is Uddhava, isn't it? Pick him up. He is a perfect person who can carry the message of love. And he is saying, Mrs. Law, Vinanda eh? Maharaj, Jasla Mata, and Gopis. You understand? Eh? So Uddhava went to Brother Bhami. Uddhava is a jnani bhakta. Bruhaspati Shishya, a disciple of Bruhaspati. Bruhaspati, jnani. You understand? He has bhakti, but mixed with jnana. Not pure bhakti. Eh? Kevala bhakti, unmixed bhakti, no mixture of karma, is not karma, mishra bhakti or jnana mishra bhakti. Understand my language, understand. I don't know if you can understand. It's coming out. I don't know, please excuse me. Why I am a fanatic? Or say he is a fanatic. Yes, I am a fanatic. 
Il più grande. Chi ha trovato il panate che non lo Guardo di qua, ma dai, ma non ti dico, non so mai. Dico, non è stato in mio stock. Lucky. So è big excuse for me. Non è stato un grande Brospoti si sia, si sia di vostra, ma mi si sia di vostra, 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 mi si sia Pure devotion, che vuol dire? Ma Uddhava è un giorno, 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 un Son died. Yes, that is you. Jato say Zuo Mutu. Ah, one was taken back, he must meet death. Today or tomorrow or ten days after, or ten years after, ten months after, ten years after, or fifty years or hundred. That is you. Is inevitable, unavoidable. Why are you crying? Huh? These words you may consume. Huh. Isn't it? I may die something, you may die something, today your son died. Huh? And tomorrow your wife may die. Huh? So why you can? This is consumption. Some man some might have lost his hard earned money, so he's gone. Huh? He's morose, distressed. Someone may come to me and console me. Why are you crying? Why all my hard earned money? I and i applied everything in this business. I sustained loss, everything lost. Now what is it? All these are all material objects, material wealth. It's subject to destruction. Temporary. Today it may be with you, tomorrow you may lose it. It is so this is the nature of all material things, all material elements are the undabanta. All temporary elements. Why are you crying for it? This may be consolation. Isn't it? True. Buddha went and first he went to Nanda Maharaj. Nanda Maharaj was crying for Kusa, his son. Huh? Isn't it? But Buddha This Gyani, he knows Krishna is Bhagavan. He knows it, yes. If somebody wants to cry, he must cry for Krishna. He knows it. Yes. And Mananda Maharaj was crying for Krishna. Thinking his own son. Huh? So Uddha thought of what consolation I'd give. Huh? It's right for Krishna. Huh? And all Shastra say, yes, if someone wants to cry, he must cry for Krishna. And he is crying for Krishna. How can I say, don't cry? <laughs> Then all Shastra will come and stop my mouth. Oh, stop, stop. What are you saying, Uddha? What's such a gang of the no sasa? How can I say so? He is in such a dilemma. What to say? Huh? Isn't it? It's all discussed in the 10th canto. And Rupa Goswami has also written a copy of Uddhas on this. Very deep. Do you understand? Nanda Maharas has such devils, it's pure devotee. Sudha bhakti bhagavatta jnana nahita. Ah, understand? Sudha bhakti bhagavatta jnana nahita. 
नंद महाराज सुदेव भोसन जसोदा माता दिवोसन ये सुद्ध वात्सल्य प्रीति अंडरस्टैंड बट से इन इंग्लिश योर करंट सो लॉयल योर करंट टाउ लव सुद्ध वात्सल्य भगवत ज्ञान नहीं था बिकॉज ऑफ सुद्ध वात्सल्य प्योर परेंटल लव द कंप्लीट फर्गट अंदर कुछ नहीं भगवान उपयोग <laughs> Is just the matter says like that, huh? The jato boni sabhi so sankhya jogi so sabdi upogiyo mano harin samanta atma jo Lord Hari is Bhagwan in three Vedas his glory is sun sun upani sada din all upanishad his glory part and sun. जस्ता नंद जसोदा नंद महाराज जसदा माता उद्धवक क्या नॉट अंडरस्टैंड ठीक क्या नॉट अंडरस्टैंड यू फॉलो सो यू आर थिंकिंग वेरी डीपली व्हाट शाल आई से एंड हाउ कैन आई गिव कंसोलेशन टू नंद महाराज देन ही स्टार्टेड टॉकिंग अबाउट द भगवत्ता ऑफ कृष्ण ऑफ द हाउ भगव कृष्ण इज भगवान Huh? He said, "Nanda Maharaj, your son, whom you said, your son, huh? Krishna, he is Bhagavan, huh? Do you understand? He is Bhagavan. He is all perfect. Sarvabhyapaka, all perfect, huh? Isn't it? All perfect." Huh? He is in the heart of every living entity as Paramatma, huh? Isn't it? He, he himself has said, huh? Jiva yore var nai baat matma jo Bhagwan Hari. सर्वे सामात्मा जो है आत्मा पिता माता सो ईश्वर टेंथ कैंटो ओ नंद महाराज कृष्ण इज योर सन इन वन सेंस इट इज करेक्ट बट इन अनदर सेंस इट इज नॉट करेक्ट दो प्रेजेंट थिंग्स अबाउट कृष्ण स्टैंड I go to thirty. Yes, of time I'm prepared to dance to the hip hop. Yes, huh? 
What is once eternal bhav for Krishna? Accordingly, Krishna reciprocates. Is it correct, my saying? Yes. What do you say? Is not contradictory? Thank you very much. I don't know whether I am saying correctly or not. Is you to correct me? <laughs> huh? So it is your Abhima that Krishna is my son. Uddhava says, understand me? Huh? But Nanda Maharaj, hmm? you think Krishna your son as any ordinary man thinks his son. Huh? That is, I am father, his son. Huh? This is a Janyo-Janyo uh, Goswamandha, father and son relationship, a material relationship. Do you understand? In this material world, huh? But it is not correct. Krishna is not like a ordinary son. Krishna is Bhagavad, huh? He is the Atma, the whole Atma, he is the super soul of Paramatma. He is very dear to one. Everybody, he himself says, I am the father and mother, friend of everybody. Pita, Ansya, Jagatha, Mata, Dhata, Pita, Maha, he says this in Bhakti Gita. Yes. I am father and mother, Pita, Maha, grandfather. This material world, huh? This is Tattva. And he is your son, huh? That is your Abhima. Understand? Uddhav says like that. In this unlimited universe, there is nothing but Krishna. Huh? And for anything is Krishna's. Man has a Krishna energy means Krishna. Huh? Whatever you may be seeing, whatever you may be hearing, yes, what is present now, what will be in the future, moving, non-moving, very great, very minute, whatever you see, huh? this is nothing but Krishna. This is Gya. You understand? Because he is Paramatma, he is Paramasraya, he is Sarva Vyapana, all pervading. Drushtam, Srutam, Bhuta, Bhavad, Bhavishyata, Sthanus, Sarisnurcha, Mahajjarva Kancha, Bina, Chitat, Vastutara, Navacho, Sahiva, Sarvam, Paramatma Bhuta. Tenth canto. Scotation of Bhuta. Do you understand? In this way, Uddhava uh, drew a very good picture. Uh, understand my language? Very good picture of Krishna on Tattva. Bhagavad Tattva. Yes. And let it be from Nanda Maharaj. Uh, but Nanda Maharaj is blind. Yeah? Nanda Maharaj is blind. Ah. Jagat Jiva, all the Jivas in this material world, here Nārda Muni asked about, they say, Uttānu Pāda, ah. you look, your face appears to be drawing up, and you look like you have been thinking of something very deep for a long time. He knows what he is thinking. What is that? Have you been hampered in following your path of religious rights, economic development, sense gratification? Yeah. He knows what he's saying. <coughs> so all the jivas in the material world, they are blind about sense enjoyment. Bhogari on Isn't it? But brother Dhamas, they are premundha, they are blind in 
प्रेम और लविंग आप प्रयास हो कुछ ना डू यू अंडरस्टैंड माई लैंग्वेज यू अंडरस्टैंड वट आई से
sinless, my Christian, Christian Gopal is very pickled, very wicked, a greedy boy. He gets angry. No symptom of Narayan. Thought you say he is Narayan, he is Bhagavad. You are a mere Bhagavad. You don't know to whom what to speak. You are Christian Narayan. You don't, don't know to whom what to speak. Huh? Nardamuni knows and spoke these things to Uttara Baba. Understand my point? Understand my point? Is it all right? <laughs> huh? Do you understand? My Gopal is a great thief. He's not a thief. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> How do you say so? <laughs> he is a liar. He tells lies. The Bhagavan tells lies. Huh? The Narayan tells lies. Huh? He's great Abhimani. Huh? He's Narayan Abhimani. Huh? Also take shelter of Narayan. Okay, Jeeva Asroy. But my son Gopal, he is dependent on us. Yes. Huh? How is Bhagavan? He is completely dependent on us. Narayan never depends on anybody. Bhagavan never depends on anybody. How is it? My son Gopal is Bhagavan. Huh? What shall I say, Uddhava? Huh? There is no huh, symptom of Narayana Bhagavan in my son Gopal. Huh? Narayana Sakta Sankar by truthful. But my Gopal tells lies. Mithyavas is a liar. I have heard myself. I have heard. Yes. Narayana Apta Kama is self satisfied. Huh? He is beyond. Hunger and thirst. Huh? I have seen with my own eyes when Krishna becomes hungry, he becomes very upset. Yes. He becomes very upset. Yes. Uddhava, we pay obeisances to that Narayana. He is worshipping. Oh, yes. But I have seen my son Gopa, Krishna, day and day, day after day, carrying my wooden shoes on his head, runs behind me. Huh? What is this? What are you saying, Uthava? Huh? You don't know to whom what to say. Narda Muni knows what to say to Uttama Baba. Yes. Understand my points? Eh? I am not going further. I will die what my speech. Just say later now. Yes. Uddhava, I may be saying something wrong. Uh, I may be doing something wrong, huh? but Bhagavan never commits any wrong, huh? isn't it? If Krishna is Bhagavan, you say, huh? why he calls us Baba Mama? Huh? Calls me and Josla Mata, calls me Baba and Josla. Mata, Mama, huh? Why he comes? Huh? If he cannot get our help, he thinks himself helpless. Does Bhagavan think like that? Narayan think like that? Huh? All these symptoms are they are not in Gopa, in my son Gopa. I have never seen it. Huh? Here is a fact. 
by great mercy, because of the mercy of Narayana, we have gotten such son, such a son like Krishna. That's a fact. I can say very strongly, yes, yes. Hmm. Nobody can shake me of this. My intimate son, very dear son, by the mercy of Narayana, I have gotten such son. Huh? All right, Uddhava, we accept what you say. Krishna is not ordinary man, he is Bhagavan. We accept. Hearing this tattva from you, accept. But do you think saying this, huh, you will relieve us from this burning of the fire of separation? Huh? Huh? Do you think so? Hearing from you, the burning in my heart has become thousandfold. Yes. I was thinking this, I have lost a son. Now hearing from you, I am thinking now, I have not lost only a son, but I have lost Baba. Then, feeling a bank of Sibaris on the body, I'm blessed, it's thousandfold now. How do you conceive a consolation, huh? Isn't it? Do you understand? You are a mere boy, huh? You are trying to extinguish the fire, pouring ghee into it, huh? If you pour ghee into fire, will it be extinguished? Huh? Saying this, Nanda Maharaj said, tears like torrents of rain from his eyes. Uddhava paired. Uddhava paired. Do you understand? To conceive consolation. Huh? Arjuna. Sakya Bhava, friend, not pure Sakya. Sakya Bhava, Gopa Balakas, cowherd boys in Brazil, pure Sakya. Huh? They climb to the shoulder of Krishna. But Arjuna, when Krishna meant his sword, his universal, very gigantic, universal fear to the universal war, Arjuna became afraid. Yes, isn't it? Arjuna became afraid. His Sakya also became slackened. Huh? Then he begged apology. Tatyamui. He Krishna, he Jadavu, he Sakheti. I have addressed like that. Now you are so great. I have committed wrong. Please excuse me, isn't it? Huh? This is uh, different topicals. Huh? The following. So, to whom? Nanda Maharaj, to whom? What to speak in Dunya? Huh? One should speak what is according to his Adhikar. What Adhikar he has? He has Karma Adhikar, Jnana Adhikar, or Bhaktya Adhikar. He has karma dhikar, uttana bhava. Therefore, Nārda Muni inquired this thing. Huh? Huh? Why is that? Have you been hampered following your path for religious rights, economic development, or sense right? Never spoke about liberation. Because he has no jnana dhikar. Those of jnana dhikar, they want liberation. Karma Dika, they want enjoyment. If that is hampered, they become morose and distressed. They become morose and distressed. 
तो ज्ञान अधिकार हैं इन पातों ज्ञान मुक्ति समथिंग अस्ट्रक्शन कम देवी कम हो ये प्रेम अधिकार उस दिन प्रेम इस नंद महाराज सर जस दामाद तालम ब्रज भाषे ले आप प्रेम आदमी दे बिकम मोर यू वेरी डिस्ट्रेस्ड एंड आई वाज स्पीकिंग अबाउट दिस हर दास था को हाँ इज इट इट ही कुंट फिनिश इज राउंड्स हाँ इसे महाप्रभु के सौ देश का निशान एंड आज व्हाट आर अपन टू यू हर दास था को हाँ Are you okay? Your health is okay. He said, "My health is okay, but my mind is not okay." What has happened? I cannot finish my runs. You understand? This, huh? this question of adhikar, the power, and this is a very important topic. भक्ति अधिकार इन गीता इट इज डिस्कस्ट कृष्ण सेज कर्म ज्ञान जो डिस्कस्ट इन कविता दो हजार कर्माधिकारी फॉर देम कर्मार्पण बैट फॉर देम वर्णाश्रम धर्म यस अकॉर्डिंग टू गुण इज यू टू कर्म And up for the result of your karma, to Bhagavan. Hmm? That is karma arpana. So karma na to mudhyacha sidri bindati manava. Through your activity, your occupational duty, you are for worship. That is karma adhikar. That is varnaastam dhamma. Then better than that is jnana adhikar. Then conclusion better than that. The most is bhakti adhikar. Sarva dharma an pradijya maami ko saram. That is conclusion. Krishna antreya bhakti da. Randa all bhraja dharma just surrender antreya. What I have said previously about karma, jnana, jiva, so everything just surrender. That is bhakti adhikar. It is prema bhakti. It is the sign of law. That is conclusion. कर्म ज्ञान विरागादि चेष्टिवासमत श्रद्धावाते जंतम श्री चैतन्य विदाउट अधिकार नो बडी कैन गेट्स प्योर डिवोशन सुधा भक्ति यस व्हाट इज वंस अधिकार यू लैक टू अकॉर्डिंग अंडरस्टैंड वन शुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस अधिकार विचार Then accordingly to his sadhana, sadhan bhajan, then he may achieve some success. Otherwise, how can he achieve success? That the Prabhupada says, "Shada varna sandhar, daiva varna sandhar, asri varna sam." Going on in Kali Yuga, you shada daiva varna sandhar. Sansidir hari toshanam, isn't it? Sansidir hari toshanam. Through your occupational duty, you satisfy our Hari. After the result, that is for national dharma. Ah, that's needed for this in this material world. For conditioned souls, they are known bhakti adhika, bhakti sudur lava. Ah, really, actually, Hari bhakti sudur lava. Yes. Ah, mostly our karmis. Hmm. So. On it, many people think like that. Also, so many, so many years, I have accepted Guru, and and I have received Hari Nam mantra. I am doing Shravan Kirtan. Why nothing? I get nothing. Why I get nothing? This question is there. In the body's question, isn't it? Isn't it? Huh? Yes. If we cannot get the answer, 
Gradually, what will happen? He will develop, he will lose faith in his bhajan. Understand? He will lose faith in his bhajan. Yes? And he may give it up completely. And many have done so. Yes. Then question of adhikar comes. Ah, if you can understand what is an adhikar, ah, then he may make some progress. Otherwise he cannot make progress. Ah, it is not that by doing seven kirtan, one is in what you will say, yes. No. Those are training bhaktas only, they, they said yes. Others cannot. Others cannot. Ah. Mm. Therefore, in order to get Sudha Bhakti, if you are devotion, this Adhikar in India also will be there. Once you understand what is the Adhikar, ah, what is my Adhikar? And how can I achieve the Bhakti Adhikar? That is the goal. That is goal. Sarvadan Mahanpiti is Jamami from Sarvadan Brother. This question of Bhakti Adhikar. You know, karma Adhikar, Jnana Adhikar. Huh? So, a karma adhikari does bhajan, jnana adhikari also does bhajan, but their bhajan, karma adhikari, bhajan of karma adhikari becomes jnana, karmanga. And bhajan of jnana becomes jnananga. Do you understand? As they have not achieved bhakti adhikari, the goal they cannot achieve. Understand? Nah? If somebody is very fortunate, and gets Sudha Bhakti Adhikar, then very quickly, ah, you know, achieve the goal. Lot of Spirit of Krishna. In Gita, we find this verse. Chatru Vidha Bhajan Teman, Jana Sukruti Ino Arjuna, Artho Jigyasa Artharthi Jnani Cha Bharata Sava. Isn't it? Huh? Isn't it? This was four types. Chatur Vidha Vandaman, Jana Sukhri or Juno, Arto, Jigyasu, Arthati, Jani Chavarta Sava. What is English? Four types of Sukhutina? Yes. This retrace, the one after money. And the sage. One is inquisitive, jigyasu, huh? and one is jnani. Isn't it? Yes. Four types of sukruti vanta purusha. What you say in English? Hmm? Pious. Pious persons, all right. That's the English language. All right, very good. 